Corinthians Rishon, 1 Corinthians 3. And I, brethren, could not speak unto you as unto spiritual, but as unto carnal, even as unto babes in Hamashiach. I have fed you with milk and not with meat, for hitherto ye were not able to bear it, neither yet now are ye able. For ye are yet carnal. For whereas there is among you envying and strife and divisions, are ye not carnal and walk as men? For while one says, I am of Paul, and another, I am of Apollos, are ye not carnal? Who then is Paul and who is Apollos? But ministers by whom ye believed, even as Yah gave to every man, I have planted, Apollos watered, but Yah gave the increase. So then, neither is he that plants anything, neither he that waters, but Yah that gives the increase. Now, he that plants and he that waters are one, and every man shall receive his own reward according to his own labor. For we are laborers together with Yah. Ye are Yahweh's husbandry. Ye are Yahweh's building. And according to the grace of Yah, which is given unto me as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation, and another builds thereon. But uh, let Rather, but let every man take heed how he builds thereupon. For other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, which is Yahusha HaMashiach. Now, if any man build upon this foundation gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, stubble, Every man's work shall be made manifest. <clears throat> Excuse me. For the day shall declare it. Because it shall be revealed by fire. And the fire shall try every man's work. Of what sort it is. If any man's work abide. Which he has built thereon. Rather there upon. He shall receive a reward. If any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved, yet so as by fire. Know ye not that ye are the temple of Yahweh, and that the Ruach Yahweh dwells in you? If any man defile the temple of Yah, him shall Yahweh destroy for the temple of Yah is holy, which temple ye are. Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seems to be wise in this world, let him become a fool, that he may become wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with Yahweh. For as it is written, rather for it is written, he takes the wise in their own craftiness. And again, Yahweh knows the thoughts of the wise, that they are vain. Therefore let no man glory in men, for all things are yours, whether Paul or Apollos or Kepha, or the world or life or death, or things present or things to come. All are yours. And ye are Mashiachs. And HaMashiach is Yahweh's.